Alright, so today I wanted to see um, how like a mobile processor would compare to a desktop processor. You've probably always wondered like, oh how powerful is my phone, like how does that compare to like a desktop computer? Actually, you may not have actually wondered that before. Anyway, I still wanted to see how it would work out. So I have a Nexus 6P here. This is a Snapdragon 810 and 4GB of RAM. And we're going to be comparing that to an i5-4690K that is in my, um, my desktop down here which you can't see. The way we're going to be doing this so that we get an equal test running the same test on both is I'm going to be running Remix OS on that desktop and then we'll be running Geekbench inside of Remix OS. So Remix OS is an operating system um, that's made for desktop, pro uh, desktop processors. It allows you to run Android apps and so we're going to be running uh, Geekbench 3 on here and we'll be running Geekbench 3 on the desktop and we're going to see the difference. Uh, we'll probably also run a few other benchmarking software. It depends if I can find the APK for them because right now I can't get uh, Google Play services or the Google Play Store to work on Remix OS so whatever I can find the APK for to run on here um, I will try but I can run anything on this obviously. So um, let's see how first what kind of score we get uh, on Geekbench 3 on the Nexus and then we'll run on the desktop. So we were having some issues getting um, uh, Geekbench 3 to run on Remix OS on desktop, so we're going to try Antutu Benchmark instead, which I think should work on both. So this is Antutu Benchmark, um, and we're going to run this. This will run 3D, UX, CPU, and RAM tests. So let's give this a test. So here we go. Aha. Uh -huh. So our overall score was a score of 83,688. Um, and then we can see our different scores for the different categories here. So we're about to run it on our desktop system and we'll see how we do. All right, so here we go. Now we're gonna run the exact same test on the desktop. Aha, uh -huh, so we have our score now. We got a score of 176,657. So yeah, we didn't stick to our, our original plan. Uh, I couldn't get Geekbench 3 to work on the desktop. Um, Remix OS, even though it's in beta, it just recently moved from alpha to beta, there's still a lot of issues with it. So I couldn't get Geekbench 3 to work on uh, Remix OS. But we did get Antutu Benchmark to work. And I'm actually glad I switched to Antutu Benchmark because it doesn't just give you one number or two numbers, multi-core score and single-core score. It actually runs different types of tests and tell you what the score is on each individual type of test that it runs. So I think that it was a better, um, a better way to look at it and a better way to analyze uh, how they do against each other. So in pretty much all the categories except for one, which was graphics, and I'll talk about why I think it lost that one in a minute, it won. Uh, obviously, it's a much more powerful processor. Even though the phone has an octa-core, um, it's just the architecture is different, and you're gonna have you're gonna have a lot more power coming out of a desktop processor. So in terms of the overall score, uh, um, I have to look at it here. I don't have I don't have it memorized. <laughs> So in terms of the overall score for both devices, the Nexus got an 83,688, and the desktop got 176,657. That is almost like, I think that's about double the score, it's somewhere in there. That's, that's, that's a pretty big difference. Um, 3D, the Nexus won by a lot, and here's the reason I think it won by a lot. The, even though my, uh, my computer has a desktop GTX 960, I just, it, it doesn't have the drivers, it doesn't have a way to use, utilize it, there's no way. I think it's literally just using it as a way to output video, but it's not actually taking advantage of the processing power of it. Where uh, the Nexus, because it has a dedicated, pro uh, or it doesn't have a dedicated GPU, but it's using the actual GPU in the phone, and it has a way to access it, it can utilize that, um, it's going to do a lot better. So, I mean, the, the 3D tests, when they ran on the computer, they were horrible. They were like really, really low frame rate and stuff. It didn't work well at all. And I think that's because it doesn't support a dedicated graphics card. As far as CPU goes, the Nexus 6P got a score of 22,265. And the i, uh, i5-4690K got a score of 87,810. So that is a massive improvement. 
that is probably, I don't know, I have to figure out. I'm gonna put up right, right here, how many times more powerful that is. That is a lot more powerful. So if you wanna do something that's CPU intensive, um, desktop is the way to go, obviously. Uh, but this just goes to show, people are like, oh, you know, your phone is so powerful. Your phone is really powerful, but your computer is multiple times more powerful than that. At least if you have a decent um, desktop. I'm surprised with the RAM. Um, this, the phone has DDR4, I believe. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll put a little thing saying it's DDR3 or whatever. But as far as I know, it's DDR4. It's 4 gigabytes of DDR4. So I don't know if the benchmark is testing like the amount of RAM you have or the speed of the RAM. Because if it's the amount of RAM you have, then it'd make more sense. But as far as the speed of the RAM, the desktop is still faster. I have one stick of DDR3. It's not even, it's not even running dual channel. So as far as why it's so much faster, I don't exactly know. DDR4 should always be faster, right? Even if it's in a mobile device. Shouldn't DDR4 always be faster? Um, I guess not, so that's kind of weird. But as far as the RAM score goes, the PC was about double the RAM performance of the phone. Finally, uh, Antutu has this thing they call the UX score, which is supposed to stand for user experience, which doesn't really seem to tell me much because the desktop score was a lot higher than the phone. That's weird because when I was using Remix OS, I was getting like, felt like it was really laggy on the user experience. It was like, I drag windows around, loading in new pages. It was really laggy, and I think this is due to the beta. But I guess the um, N22 still sees that it's a lot more powerful. So the, uh, the user experience score was a lot higher on the desktop also. So in conclusion, a desktop is obviously faster than a phone. But I just wondered how much faster is it? So you can see it's about almost twice as fast for a top of the line phone against a it's not exactly a top of the line computer, but a relatively new, um, relatively powerful gaming PC, I guess you'd call it. One thing to remember though, is that Remix OS isn't, isn't optimized for the desktop hardware the way um, Android is optimized for mobile hardware. So if it was optimized, it'd probably be even faster. But still, this is really impressive. Uh, so I hope you guys found this video kind of interesting. It was, it was kind of cool to see how much more powerful a uh, desktop is than a phone and how close they come in certain different regions. Um, so if you liked it, there's the buttons down there, you know what they do. I don't have to, I'm gonna say every other person says this, I'm just gonna say. You know what the buttons do, you can press them if you want, uh, including the subscribe one. And if you have anything you want to talk about below, we can talk about this in the comments. So, you know, leave a comment, I'll probably talk to you. And oh yeah, you guys have been subscribing a lot lately. So I'm already up to like 280 subscribers. In the last video I posted, I was like at 200 and something, I don't know, two, I was like a lot lower. It was like tw like a month ago that I just hit 200, so I'm already, I'm already approaching 300, which is really amazing. So thanks for the support, guys. Um, yeah, so I hope you like this, and I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, bye.